We're intermediaries that work with large corporate organisations in the main, looking to help them implement their innovation strategies. So we search for technologies they need and we search for partners that they need and introduce them. Today I was talking about you might know where you want to go in terms of the innovation strategy, but you have to get there. And no matter how good your ideas are and how much you think you're going to do about that, you really have to plan how you're going to go on that journey and you have to identify what you need to know to get there. It's a bit like tra taking a train journey. You might have decided you're going to go to London, but you have to plan how to get there and time to it through. It's the same in the innovation space. So the focus of my talk today was around using a process around focusing, finding, filtering and facilitating what you do. If you're going to do the process well, and particularly where this conference is centred around digital health technologies, that initial step of focusing and finding where you're going to go can be several weeks worth of work, maybe spread over five to six months in order to really frame the agenda and decide what the, que and what the question is. Innovation, if you're working in a consumer goods company, maybe you can invent a new product and take it to market in six months. If you're working in this sector, in the digital technology area, with the regulation and the parties that have to play their part, you're going to be spending time to get there and you're going to have to have the time and energy to stay the course. Open innovation to me means that you can't know everything, you can't own all of the resources and if you want to do anything, whether that's running your local scout group or you know, developing a new product, um, making changes in the NHS, you need to build teams of people with different knowledge and that knowledge isn't necessarily just within your organisation and you have to find ways of connecting and motivating people to work with you. I think some of the hot topics for next year might be the sort of mind and machine um, and the interfaces there, particularly because it's not just relevant to health but it's relevant into the transport sector, you know, driverless vehicles and about how you can get the feedback there. Um, also the way that um, technology is going to enable more continuous patient monitoring and feedback. The real challenge, of course, being able to then analyse the vast amounts of data that come through. So big data is still going to be a topic area and how you mine that data and find the correlation between huge numbers of variables in order to draw conclusions. The projects become so big that they become unmanageable because you're trying to achieve so much with the same thing at the same time and that tends to lead to failure because you, you can't do everything at the same time and breaking it down into smaller chunks and looking at some of the early wins to build it often brings better results than going for big bang straight away. <laughs>